Hello everyone, dear students, today we have to discuss with you the circulatory system. This cross not me. These are the learning objectives uh, to be familiar with the type of the capillaries, to be familiar with the type of artery and vein, to distinguish with all type of blood vessels. As you see, uh, <clears throat> there are four kind of cancer organ in system. Organ composed of four kind of the tissues in a particular way. Type is uh, it can be a hollow organ. Studied from side to outside, which is parenchyma, and the substantial organ is the interstitium in which it is lying. And the system composed of many organs which have relationship with each other in the structure and the functions. <clears throat> As you know, it is a closed tubular system. Your cardiovascular system is uh, heart is connected with so many tubes, and uh, in which blood is circulating, and in this tube the blood is circulating, or the lymph is also lymph is the ultrafiltrate of the blood. As you see, when uh, uh, blood is moving through, there are certain vessels. And because it is uh, going around it at certain, uh, with certain pressure, so some of the plasma is getting out of the blood circulation, is collected in the vicinity of the vessel. We call it a lymph. <clears throat> now the blood vascular system. This is how it works. It's a closed system of the tube inside the cardiothoracic region and outside in distributed whole of your body. This is the gastrointestinal tract, liver, spleen, all of it. <clears throat> so what does the cardiovascular system do? <clears throat> Heart functions mainly as a pump which is a big pump, which uh, pumps the blood across the body. And blood vessels are the tube that take out this body from uh, blood from the, uh, the heart to the uh, uh, body and back to the heart. So arteries deliver blood from the heart to the capillaries. Because uh, arteries deliver blood from the heart to the capillaries. And capillaries are the smallest blood vessels close to the body cells. And here, the exchange of the um, of carbon dioxide, nutrients, all this happens here. And the veins carry blood from body to the heart. So arteries carry the liver body from the heart to the capillaries, and the vein carry blood from body to the heart. This is deoxygenated. <clears throat> this is the general outline. Uh, this is the large vein, this is the uh, artery, this is the medium sized vein, this is the muscular artery, and this is the small venule vein, this is the arteriole, and these are certain kinds. We discuss all of these as we, uh, we, as the world goes on. So, to understand the artery as a function, we have to understand its internal structure. It's very important that you understand the internal structure of artery. It, uh, like you, uh, we call it a, a different layer of, you see, this is all like coat. One coat, second coat, and the third coat. And the coat called in the French or the, they call the tunics. These are the codes. One code, main code, third code. Internal code, middle code, and outside code. The internal code, we call it the tunica interna. It has endothelium 
you see internal cavity here endothelium and then there's a sub endothelial layer and the outside this this is internal elastic membrane or lamina this one endothelium internal uh, subendothelial layer and the internal elastic membrane because it's lying below this this is internal elastic membrane endothelium <coughs> this is the subendothelial layer and this is the internal elastic membrane this contain all this tunica entama now the middle layer we call it tunica media this one contains mainly of the smooth muscles this is endothelium this is smooth muscles and outside it is a tunica adventitia this one this one this can uh, the external elastic membrane this is and this uh, mainly with the tissue outside the vessel it is in contact with tissue outside the vessel mainly made of connective tissue <clears throat> artery transport blood from the heart to the capillaries according to their size structure and the function to uh, differ according to the size structure and the functions uh, classified into the large artery median artery diameter is greater than one millimeter small artery diameter is greater than 0 0.3 to 1 millimeter and arteriole diameter is less than 0 0.3 so depending on the size structure and the function so structure feature of artery so the wall of arteries consists of three layers often referred to as the tunics now to do the other codes like codes tunica entama is the inner coat tunica media is the middle layer as we discussed in tunica adventitia tunica external as outer layer of wall of the blood vessel which is in contact with the tissue outside the vessel and layer of the what is wall differ in different size of blood vessels according to the structure and function of arteries changes as their diameter decreases we we'll discuss it as we now you see here what is the tunica and tama you see internal structure hey this is uh, uh we've seen this uh, this is uh apparatus is going inside arterial lumen it is an arterial lumen artery inside it and it is in close contact with the tunica and this is the internal this is the tunica and tama this one inner coat sub inner endothelial layer and then there is a sub endothelial layer this is a inner endothelial layer this one and below this is a sub endothelial layer and internal elastic lamina often very distinct this this is the internal elastic lamina this one 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 this is the internal elastic lamina this is very distinct you will see in a light microscopy you can see this very distinct but the uh, endothelial layer is not very distinct but this layer is very distinct and this is relatively constant within different side arteries if you see large arteries the medium arteries or true this is this layer is constant now the tunica media this is made up of the greatest part of the wall of the artery you see this is here you see this is a primary contain of a smooth muscles <clears throat> you see this is so many one to one to three cell layer thick this one in the medium size arteries but in large arteries this contains so many layers here this is a because medium size artery contain two to three layers in the large size artery this media is thick it may contain hundreds of layers of the muscle cells in the big, big arteries like uh, aorta. 
and it also contains large amount of elastic fibers because in large arteries they need a recoil back to their original position and then to impart pressure they need more elastics so large elastic fibers tunica adventitia this is the outer layer you see this is the internal layer this is the media and this is the adventitia this is this one because like in close context with the peripheral tissue which are in the vicinity of the vessel concerns primary of the connective tissue so, so that it provides anchorage to these uh, vessels with the surrounding tissue it often contains adipose tissue and the vasa vasorum vasa vasorum is a blood supplier of the artery so it means artery contains blood but we also need blood supply to sustain so it has its own artery artery of artery supply of artery we call it vasa vasorum the supply the walls of the blood because it has to sustain so medium size artery diameter larger than 1 mm it contains tunic uh, we also call it muscular artery because it more muscle it. so tunica intima again the subendothelial layer endothelium here subendothelial layer here and the internal last you see this is the constant feature this internal last lamina you see here spirally arranged this is very clear you see now the tunica media this one this contains 10 to 40 layers of circular smooth muscle you see 10 to 40 so many layers so many layers. and then this tunica adventitia this one contain external elastic lamina and there was a visorum this blood supply to the artery now the large elastic arteries like in aorta big uh, vessels large this contains the aorta the pulmonary trunk and their main branches So the large lumen, big lumen, relative to the walls, thickness. It has a um, media thick, but its lumen is relatively thick than this. Sub endothelial layers is thicker with a few smooth. You see the endothelium, the sub endothelial layer with a few smooth muscles here. Tunica media is thick. If you see this tunica media, this one, this one, spirally arranged, is concentrically arranged, elastic lamina, this one, two, so many, hundred forty, seventy, maybe hundred, and internal elastic lamina are not distinguished. You see, elastic lamina are not distinguished here. You cannot distinguish it here. Tunica adventitia are thinner. You see here. Okay, this is. Tunica adventitia. They said small blood vessel. This is vasa vasorum. See here, small blood vessel. This, it is the blood supply of the artery. So tunica adventitia are thin here, and abundant vasa vasorum because the thick muscle it need more artery to sustain. So more arteries are. Now the small artery, muscular artery, and the we call it peripheral system. As you uh, read in your uh, uh, physiology, that these small artery provide peripheral resistance. As you see, uh, when the bigger artery has less resistance, but as it comes. In the smaller diameter, provide more resistance, so it uh, uh, provide some blood pressure. 
internal elastic lamina is clear while external elastic lamina is not distinguished see here tunica media consists of 3 to 9 layer of smooth muscle this small article not the muscular contains 3 to 9 layers of smooth muscles and this is adipose tissues here which lamina is clear here now the arterioles these are less than 0.3 arterioles small small they uh, are actually uh, made of only one uh, you see endothelium is very very uh, thin only a single layer simple have a diameter is very small and simple structure that of the muscular artery several layer of smooth muscles in the tunica media few smooth few smooth smooth muscles in the media and this is the endothelial lining responsible for the presence of the blood pressure now this is the <clears throat> vein as you compare both artery and the vein this is a bigger lumen as you see here it is thin wall but has a bigger lumen than this one this is a small lumen this is artery this is vein so they are the capacitance vessel bigger lumen internal and external elastic lamina are not clear they are laminous they are not clear tunica media is thin in comparison to the artery is thin with few elastic fibers and smooth muscle in comparison to the artery but its tunica adventitia is thick well developed than the artery so its tunica adventitia is thick and is well developed we provide more anchorage to the surrounding tissue so it proves another thing that uh, it adopts according to their area and the function they perform this vessel you see here they have more ambitia has has less ambitia some veins have the valves in this you see so veins have the valves you see here bag like protrusion of the tunica is this tunica antima and this, this tunica antima is going like this bag like protrusions inside the vessel lumen vascular lumen the protrude into vascular lumen which prevents the blood flow from running from the opposite direction so blood uh, if you see this <clears throat> and they are usually uh, exist only in the veins that are away from the heart far away from the like your limbs they contains valves especially well double valve in your lower limbs so if these uh, valves they have you see the columns of the pressure they are on the you see towards the heart they are opening towards the heart and when the column of pressure is upon them like here it flattens so no back flow of the blood into the vessel but if they are become incapacitated so there are very costities here fully venous in compared to so or to when they full at the agar ye incompetent ho jaye very close veins we have to call it so they are important <clears throat> here you can uh, see uh, now we see the capillaries these are the actually uh, capillary side where the uh, it's like a docking bay uh, like a uh, airport or uh, 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 any ports 
where the things are loaded and offloaded. So capillaries are the place where the things are exchanged, loaded and offloaded. They are loaded and their material are loaded in the blood. Some which is not needed, they are offloaded here, and which are needed are carried away in this. So in many organs, the capillaries form this network. They actually uh, form at the end when arteries and venules meet. They form this network. Capillary blood, bed. Here these are tissue cells. And there's a lymphatic capillary is also present here because you see this is ultra. Lymph is an ultrafiltrate of the blood. So what is happening that the, at the higher pressure, pressure exchange here, some of the plasma or lymph, uh, ultrafiltrate of plasma, getting out in the vicinity here. The lymphs are present here to take away, away that plasma or lymph. If they are not present, but they can be a swelling here. So these lymphs are there to take away the on the unloaded material, plasma or ultrafiltrate. So, so this is lymphatic circulation. So this is the network of, it is a simple contains of the scapularies, contains simple sperm cells, thin, thin sperm cells, one layer thing, about eight micrometer diameter, diameter, average diameter. Maybe um, some are bigger, but average diameter is eight micrometer thick to allow the exchange and diffusion of the things here. So another thing that function according to the their needs. Now the different type of capillaries there. They can be a single layer of. Uh, See here, single layer of endothelial cells, here, and they are bounded by this junction. See, the cells are bounded by this junction. This is the basal lamina outside, and these are the pores, penetration inside this. This is a parasite. So, a uh, layer of endothelial cells, a basal membrane, and a parasite. Here. Light microscopy evaluation. Now, there are, uh, uh, this is a very favorite question asked in the examination. So, what are the different type of capillaries present in the body and where they are acting? So, we call, uh, asked you many times in the examination, appearance of endothelium and the basement membrane. They can be continuous capillaries. There can be fenestrated capillaries, and the pores are present in between them, and then can be sinusoids. You can see here, no basement membrane here. So, what are these? Continuous capillaries are distributed in the muscle tissue, brain, lungs, and connective kind of tissue. What are these? You see here, these are the endothelial cells. They are arranged a large number of you see, small panasiatic vesicles. And the cell junction between the endothelia are tight junctions here. They are not porous. Tight junction, no pores, no gaps here. Here, this endothelial cells. And the basement membrane is well developed. Into. Now the fenestrated capillaries. Here you can see are distributed in the tissue a rapid interchange of substance occur between the tissue and the blood, as in the kidney. Glomerulus, mucosa of the gastrointestinal tract, and some endocrine glands. You can see here, these are the endothelial cells present abundant. They are poles, you see here, perforated poles, 60 to 80 micrometer in diameter. With four to six nanometer diaphragm, here this is diaphragm, four to six diaphragm is load. You see, these are the pores and this is diaphragm load. Ek jelly hai ye wali, or is it a core jelly? So there's diaphragm. Here, these are the fenestrated and some 
and you can see in some way difference present, some way difference present here. <coughs> and it has, but it has a well developed basement membrane here. You see, basement membrane is well developed here. Outside. So these are the fenestrated capillaries. Sinusoids. These are distributed in the interchange of the substance, the big size, such as the liver. When you eat something, it goes into the liver and uh, it needs a larger pores to get out of this. And the spleen and some underground gland also have sinusoids. They have larger pores, uh, greatly in the diameter, 30 to 40 micrometer. So endothelial cells, clefts are larger clefts, many pores, but there is no diaphragm. But in the previous we have said there was a jelly, diaphragm was there, but here there is no diaphragm, the only pores. And another thing is there is a discontinuous basement membrane, there is no basement membrane. In the previous there was a basement membrane, but here there is no basement membrane here. See, no basement membrane. The macrophages are located uh, outside the cells of the endothelium. The macrophage in, in the previous one, there's no outside it because they were diaphragm, there were other things. But here you can see some macrophages. They are present outside the capillaries here. Because they are filtered out from here. Now the heart, go in a nutshell about the heart, it has three layers heart, epi means outside of the heart, myocardium is the middle layer and endocardium is the internal layer. Now the wall of the heart. You see, it has uh, endothelium. It has subendothelial, big endo, uh, subendothelial tissue, tissues here, and this is subendocardial layer. This contains of the endocardium, internal of the heart, endocardium, endothelium, subendothelium, and the subendocardial layer. Here, here, there you can see subperconjugate fab. It's a conduction system of the heart. As uh, electrical impulses are generated in the heart, and these are the wires of the heart, small wires which distribute these electrical impulses in the whole of the heart. You got it? For Kenji fibers. This is the myocardium, middle layer of the heart, or tunica media. This is tunica antima, this is the tunica. It is continuous with the uh, vasculature, peripheral vasculature as well. So this is myocardium, this is epicardium, outside of the heart, contains of, now, you see, this is the con uh, conducting system, the electrical impulses that they produce in sonor atrial node, and then by this atrioventricular node, they are distributed by the Purkinje fibers in the whole of the heart. So, can you have specialized? You see, no, uh, no fibers. They are distributed in whole of the heart. Or can you fibers? The specialized conducting fibers, larger than the cardiac myocytes. You see, has inclined discs. These are where the action potential occurs, and they are all uh, distributed in the whole of the heart. So cardiac action plan once occurs, they more quickly, efficiently than any other cells in the heart. So these are the organic fibers. The myocardium, the thickest layer, middle layer of the cardiac muscle, Richly supplied with the capillaries. Three layers divided roughly cardiac muscle arranged spirally. 
in Spanish. In Spanish here. Now the outside epicardium. This is the outside. You see here outside contains edible cells. Cherby, and the blood vessels here and the nerves outside the heart. So uh, this is our class of the gross anatomy of the vasculature of uh, the vascul vasculature of the human being. And I uh, think that you found helpful uh, to you. And uh, uh, 